everybody, First Cloud here with another game demo reaction video, and this game is called Power Cord. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on this game since I first saw it last year. Uh, it has been shown now twice at different Xbox events as being uh, day one able to play on the Xbox Game Pass, or Microsoft Game Pass, whatever they're calling it now. Uh, but me being a big heavy metal fan, me being a former musician, part-time musician, music has always been a big part of my life. So this looked like it was going to be a lot of fun. It's also a uh, deck builder, which I also do enjoy from time to time. So I thought, you know what, let's check this out, being that there is a demo available. Now a couple quick things. The game is being made by a company called Big Blue Bubble. Big Blue Bubble has also made another game that I am extremely fond of, which is called Forgone. Now it's a completely different genre of game. It is a Metroidvania uh, sci-fi shooter, but I have very much enjoyed that game. It has done, been developed extremely well, so if they're able to do that genre well, then hey, you know what? Maybe they're going to be able to do this genre well also. Another point to make is that there is another game out there that it seems to be identical to this. Unfortunately, uh, it's only available in early access and actually requires a payment. There is no demo, uh, so I cannot compare the two, but the game is called Battle Bands. And apparently it is going to be a seasonally driven game, but it is also a card deck builder with uh, very much a music theme to it. So, with that, let's jump into Power Chord, check it out, and see what it is all about. Oh, hell. Something's wrong with the fracture. Whatever magic has been holding it back isn't holding it like it used to. And everyone's seen it slipping, including those damn demons. Now, for the first time in years, one of the bastards is trying their luck. You're gonna have to grab a couple bouncers and meet them at the gate. Or Iron Cast, the drum shield, and last night of the Thunder Fist. And bring your brawl fist, the rage brewing guitarist who doesn't need a reason for revenge. Now bounce that demon fast before it causes any trouble. Now I do want to call out there was a cinematic video before we got to the menu screen, but I don't want to spoil that for you. Obviously, very much a battler. And here's our cards. Okay. Introducing Boar Ironcast, the last Thunderfist. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got one card that deals one damage twice to a single enemy, one that adds three armor to a single ally, and Barrier Helm. Summon a barrier card at the start of each turn. Okay, so how to play. This stubborn knight of the fabled Thunderfist wields powerful barriers to defend his band. These barriers will block an entire hit, no matter how much damage it does, okay? And Grimnir Brawl Fist. Apparently everyone has fist in their name. Uh, and he's wearing a kilt. Very cool. I have a kilt. Uh, just calling it out. So Strum, deal four damage to a single enemy. Crushing Roar, deal 3 da Rage Damage to a single enemy. Okay, I don't know what the difference between the two is yet. Uh, and then Agaric, Agaric Flask, gain plus 1 Rage Charge for each damage taken and on hit. Okay? So this Bitter Brewmaster never saw a hit he didn't want to take. Grimnir gains Rage Charges by taking damage and then deals it back as extra damage. Okay? So I'm guessing the little white card is probably the passive. Yeah, you can actually see it above their health. Yeah. And you're giving the cards for both characters at the same time. That's been similar to other games that I've played, card battlers that I've played before. All right, so we've got 12 damage. All right, let's see what we've got up here at the top. Okay, so he's gonna be playing a slam card that deals three damage to a single enemy. This performer is going to take three damage this turn, so we already know that he's going to be doing it against Grimnir. Okay. All right. Um, then let's throw up uh, Helmet. We have four action points and one more card left in the deck. 
it looks like. So let me first pull up. The barrier. Next, we'll do the strum. Nice. Background music's good. Something you kind of would have expected from a game like this. Uh, let's add. Let's go ahead and do that. Nice. Did you hear the little guitar in the background? That was kind of a cool little effect. And then. Put armor on him, so he should get completely blocked. Yep. Awesome. Alright, let's see. So Grimnir has a rage charge. We want to kind of take advantage of that when it's maybe a little bit higher. So, let's deal... Deal the four damage. Okay. And then actually, I think we can clear this out with his one, two. Nice. Okay. Excellent. The graphics are awesome. Very Borderlands esque. That demon won't forget the time he died in a cloud of ash and smoke. But it wasn't alone. If this is going to work, you're going to need a bigger band. We need Stitch. A medical enthusiast on vocals, and the closest to a healer you're gonna find in this whole damn city. Nice. Yeah, very much uh, Borderlands style models. Okay, a new challenger blocks your path. Screeching minion. Weak singers that can't hold a note alone but can power up the entire demon band, okay? Stitch. So she has Arterial Bite, which deals four damage to a single enemy and heals up to four health if health damage is dealt. And then Augment grants two power charges to a single enemy. And then heal one health to the target whenever this character applies a buff. Our self-appointed medic is always happy to help, but takes as much health as she gives. Stitch can power up bandmates and use vampiric abilities that heal by healing that heal by dealing damage. Okay. Alright. I'm not sure I completely understand. Alright. Charges. You're going to need to build charges to gain any momentum in a fight. Charges count down by one per turn, so make sure you use them. Okay. So, this he's going to be dealing three damage to her. And he's going to be granting two power charges to the ally team. All right. My thought here is that we take care of the singer first. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and deal the one-two to him. All right. Now, we definitely want the, the barrier. And then grant two power charges to increases the damage dealt per hit. All right, let's do that on Grimnir. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's see. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the armor on Grimnir. Let's have power on him again. Now I gotta be careful because a couple of these cards cost more. Alright, Grimnir doesn't have any rage charges at the moment, so let's use his strum.
Alright, let's do that. And add one barrier charge to a single ally. Okay. Fully blocked. He now has a rage charge plus a dual power charge. Alright, let's see. We'll put the barrier in front of him. Who is this guy again? I know this is Grimnir. I don't remember their names. I, I love it for them to have hover overs just like this guy does. Like, I, I kind of like to be able to hover over their names, but that's okay. All right. Um, I don't need to use the deal and heal because it, it doesn't get me anywhere. Um, do that. We can just go ahead and get rid of him. I don't even need to worry about anything else. All right, good. So far, very straightforward, very simple. There's still more, and they're getting bigger. But there's help around here if you look for it. Introducing Shinobi 13, a ghost of the Venom Escape Samurai Clan, with his collection of rare assets and poisons. The band's all here now, so fuck them up. They've done a great job of creating characters, that's for sure. But now we're 4v2, so... Okay, new challenger blocks your path, the bodyguard. Spotlight stealing, armored brutes, these drummers will take the hits meant for other demons, okay? He also has 10 armor associated with him by default as well. Okay, so Shinobi's got a uh, dice roll. Deal one damage three times to random enemies. Corrode. Inflict three corrosion on a single enemy. And glowing syringe. Deal plus one damage for each point of poison and corrosion on the target. Okay, faceless member of the Venomous Paint Clan who manipulates toxins to devastating effects. Shinobi 13 will do extra damage to any enemy they hit who has poison or corrosion applied. All right. Well, then let's start with that and put it on the guy that's going to take the damage anyway. Let's put up armor against him is he's going to take three damage. And then let's deal. We need to take him down as quickly as possible. So let's do that. Give him the power. And that should do it. Alright, let's go with that. Okay. Stances. Stance card effects last until broken by taking health damage or changing to another stance. Hmm. Alright, let's start with this again. have the one all right let's put it on him all right let's deal the six okay
barrier charge blocks one hit of oh okay <clears throat> oh boy uh, let's see let's see let's see all right let's put the barrier on him let's deal six damage to him And then let's see. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm afraid that if I try and put that on the guitarist, it won't work. So let's go there. All right, that's good. Yeah, right now, the, my uh, Grimnir is the only guy that's delivering damage for us. So, I want to make sure that I keep powering him up as much as I can. Alright, let's see. Let's go to, to that. I'm trying to hold off on using these two until I get him taken out. But I'm not sure that I can. Alright, let's try this. Oh, wow. Well, that's interesting because he wasn't supposed to take that damage, but that's okay. Hey, there we go. Cool. That ended up... All right, I thought the brawler was supposed to take the damage, but I enjoy these kinds of games. The the key though for me is going to be how do they continue to make it interesting? If they're not going to give me different characters, obviously we're going to get different cards, but is there a story? How how is this going to eventually keep me interested when I get to battle number 312? You know, that kind of a thing. Um, that's what's going to be interesting, what I need to learn. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get this over with. Damn, there's not going to be an after party tonight. This is a full-on invasion. The demon warlords have come together, and they're heading for the tower. If the Glomacaster is still up there, then hell's gonna spill out of that portal again. And this time, there's no Black Metal Smith or Knights to stop them. You need to get your ass to the top of that tower and shut them down. Okay, so that's gonna be the progression mechanic then. Okay, here we go. Alright, so this is very similar to what you see in a Slay the Spire or uh, other types of card battling roguelites. Alright, so I'm guessing these are all battles. This is a chest. I'm guessing that's probably a mini boss. Yeah, okay, elite. All right, face off, battle of band of demons to get new cards. Okay, so now we're going to start getting new cards. All right, well then let's do this guy. I really want to see what the collection of new cards process is. Okay, a new challenger blocks your path, the wingman. These bassists gain power while raining down attacks on your entire band. I love how they're associating the different enemies with a position in the band. They're the vocalist, they're the bassist, they're the guitar player, they're the drummer. I think that's kind of cool the way that they're doing that association, but it does potentially limit them to the types of enemies that we're going to run into. Alright, so we've got the vocalist, and we've got him. We need to take him out as quickly as possible.
Okay, let's see. Alright, let's add armor to him. Let's deal. Okay. Oh shit, he had armor too. I didn't even realize that. Alright, he doesn't have any rage power, so that doesn't really help me any. Alright, four damage. Okay. I was I was hoping it would heal Shinobi, but it didn't. <clears throat> All right, let's also continue to do the power charges on Grimnir. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do that, which then gives me the opportunity to do that. Nice, there we go. So now all I need to do is this. She'll absorb that attack. Perfect. Um, let's see. All right, let's go with this. And then this, and you're done. Okay, so we got a bounty of 35, and then we got three cards to choose from. I'm guessing we just, yeah, choose a reward. So we either get 95 more coins, which I don't know what they're going to be used for yet, or curse, deal one damage, and add two weakness charges to a single enemy, or Sunder, deal five damage to a single enemy, and add one barrier charge to ally team on armor break. I'm gonna go with Curse. Okay. challenger and he's a bassist also the wild card reckless bassist built for lots of small random strikes okay so the bassists are all going to be randomized attacks okay let's see all right he can absorb that he can absorb that all right then let's see if we can deal as much damage as possible So it still didn't heal. And she has a spot... Okay, I'm not understanding that card then. Either it's bugged, or the explanation of it doesn't make sense. two weakness charges. I'm not going to be able to deal a lot of damage this time around. This is all going to be about protection as much as anything. So... Or inflicting effect. So let's go with add three armor to him. So that he has no problem absorbing the six.
inflicts it, inflicting corrosion on him. Inflict weakness on him. Okay. And just like that, we took out the basis entire armor. What exactly does weakness do? Reduces the damage dealt. Oh, okay. Alright, um... Okay, let's grant him two power. Right, let's do that. Then that takes him out. Now I don't have to worry about barrier anymore. And then let's inflict corrosion on him. Alright, now I gotta start dealing some serious damage. Because of the corrosion, he got extra damage. Oh, that was sweet. That was very sweet. Alright. Doesn't matter. Beautiful. Okay, so, another 35 bounty. Gain one rage for each health damage dealt by this character, but it exhausts. And guard a single ally and gain four armor. I like Bloodlust. Bloodlust for Grimnir. Again, I really wish they would give me their names. bit harder. New challenger, uh, the Berserker, an aggressive guitarist that lashes out in a flurry of strikes and hypes up when you hit it in a stance. That's this guy. Alright. So everyone is attacking Shinobi. Huh, let's see. Oh, it only heals if health it, health damage is dealt. So armor damage doesn't do any good. That's important. All right, first of all, let's do this. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. I don't think that's going to absorb it all, but... Yeah, I thought I was pretty sure it was only going to take one of them. Alright, let's see. Alright, barrier for her. Corrosion on him. I see what happens when you hit him. He gets a power charge. Alright. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, so he's going to get hit twice. She's going to get hit twice. Do that, that, and okay, good. And then look at his rage. Okay, so we're going to absolutely take this guy out. Um... Right, let's go put a barrier in front of her. I want to see if I can take him out, but I don't think I can. No. the barrier in front of Shinobi this time. Alright, so she... Oh, I should have done it on him. I just assumed it automatically healed the full four, but it only heals according to what damage you deal. That... Oh, crap. Okay. Um, let's do that on him. Okay. Alright, we can take care of that. Done. Cool. Oh man, a zero point card. <clears throat> add four instability charges to a single enemy if they have armor otherwise add to what is instability increases the damage received per hit alright let's give it the, the shot any kind of zero card is going to be worth it Fired coupon gear item shop prices are 25% lower. Okay, band gear. Each band member can carry four items that only they can use. Gear cannot be moved after it has been equipped, so choose wisely. All right, so this is the roguelike part of it where you're getting improvements over time. Gear can be replaced but cannot be moved. Choose your slot carefully. So this is okay. Shop prices are twenty five percent lower. Um, I, I I don't know. I I really don't know. I'm gonna put, all right. I'll put it in Shinobi. 
Yeah, I, I just don't know. I'm, I'm assuming that this is going to be the shop. All right, so let's go here. I'm only going to go to the end of, of this, and uh, then we'll stop the video because I, I, I want to see what the elite and the or the uh, the boss looks like. Um, new challenger blocks your path. The meat shield. Aggressive drummers with thick hides that lash out with a flurry of rapid strikes that can attack twice while in their stance. And the lurker, cowardly guitarist that hides behind other demons while building up power charges. Oh wow. And the plague. Malevolent singers who focus on ruining your plans by corroding armor, weakening your attacks, and amplifying the damage your band takes. Oh boy. Okay. I think we just hit a big jump in difficulty. All right, he's getting hit twice. Oh my god, and they've all got armor. All right, so we put blood luck on him. That was zero. You got to use that when you get the chance. Um, barrier on him. And then power charge on him. Although, I gotta be honest, I gotta learn to use that at a better time because I automatically am losing one of those power charges because of the turn change. So why is she taking eight points of damage? One damage three times. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Four and four. Yeah, so she's getting hit twice. Okay. Uh, all right, then let's do that. That's not really what I wanted. Uh, so we'll put a barrier on her also. <clears throat> There's no point in me using that because I'm not going to get anything out of it. So let's do that. Put corrosive on him. Okay, let's see. Okay, I can deal four on him. She gains four back. Okay, excellent. Okay, put the barrier on him so that he doesn't have to take all eight. Attention. I didn't pay attention. I messed that up. I didn't pay attention. Crap.
What? No, I was aiming for him! Damn it. Block one. That'll kill him. Alright, good. I need to figure out how. Ah, crap. Um. So she's a medic, but she's only able to heal herself, is the problem. I need to figure out a way to heal him. Uh, 13. Alright, four points left. Oh, and it also knocked him out from an attack. That's good. Now you're dead. You're the only one getting attacked. Let's put a barrier on you. Good. And this doesn't really help any. Okay. I think we do this again. Good. Barrier. Okay, I don't even need to worry about that barrier. Okay, he's done. She's now back to full health. That's good. And there we go. Alright, good stuff. Yeah, we, we can absolutely get rid of this guy. And that. And that. Cool. That was much harder. That was definitely harder. First ones were easy, but... Deal four damage to a single enemy and gain three rage charges. Gain two power charges each time a card is exhausted. I uh, definitely don't want that. Right, let's go with the draw blood. Alright, I know there's an elite here, but what I want to do, because I really need to heal, is go with the uh, this. Okay, let's see. There's nothing here for the medic. Gain one power charge and add two armor. Add four instability charges to enemy team. Deal two damage and stun a single enemy. Randomly grant either two power charges or add three armor to ally team. Now let's grab that. Gain plus two barrier charges when taking any stance. Start each turn with one drain charge and two power charges. Drain increases the energy cost of the next spell. Ugh. Gem of Hunger. Team has one less energy, but this character receives two energy charges per turn. Wow, they are very crappy 
they're, they all have positive and negative effects almost. Except for the, maybe the Badge of Valor. Alright, so let me grab that one. Alright. Heal. Heal one musician. Yep. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're going to get an elite anyway. So I guess the question is, is do we go... Chest. Oh no no no. We we we've gotta go Yeah, we've gotta go mysterious event. Oh boy. Alright, nothing new this time around. Alright, so first things first. What is this? Add one instability to the enemy team. Okay, got it. Um, Alright, put the barrier on him. Deal two damage and stun him. That way we don't get any instability. And then... I think we do both of these. So let's add some armor to him. And deal four damage to... Okay. Thought process is let's get rid of the guys who are, are dealing damage. Okay, good. Oh god, he still took two damage. Crap. Alright, so we definitely want that. Alright, barrier again on him. Deal one damage and add two weakness on him. Okay, and then I think we go ahead and do that. That way, he's almost he's almost done. All right. So I I'll be honest as we're getting you know closer to the end here. Doing this. But I'm back to the same question that I had earlier. What is going to keep me interested? Right now, it's basically the same flow as Slay the Spire. It just happens to have different skins, different cards. Uh, you know, there's some slightly different mechanics for the enemies and things like that. The uh, special items that each character can carry is nice. Thirty-three? Oh, boy. Alright, so we definitely put that on him. Yeah, everybody's attacking him. Okay, good. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I just I don't know what's gonna keep me interested that, as of right now. God. That heals her back. Let's deal the one on him and get rid of that. Okay, he can take the four. Okay. And then... understand why he automatically gets two shots. It never says two. Well, he's dead. Crap. Um... Of course not. Extra three as well. Four on you. I'm gonna lose Shinobi, I bet. Yeah. Why is he getting two? It never says that he gets two. I don't understand. There is nothing anywhere that says that he's going to attack you twice. This says four up here. This says four here. So why is he getting two? Okay, so she gets four back. Um... See what I mean? I, there's nowhere that says why he gets to attack. So that is a, either that's a bug, or they need to do a better job of fixing this, or of, of explaining this kind of stuff. Yeah. So this one actually says five by two.
barrier on him. Take him out. Okay, good. Alright, down to the elite. Okay, good. So we've gotten rid of his armor. Now I'm not going to the barrier on him. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Four and four. Alright. He can take the damage, so I'm not going to waste using the, the barrier on him. Instead, let's deal as much damage as we can. Okay. Now that time he only did one attack. Oh, uh, let's see... Uh, well, we can do, do, finish this off right now. Alright, what did we get here? Shirt of Fury. Gain plus one energy charge when taking health damage. Uh, I think we put it on him. Although that might have been dumb, considering he's dead. Pick your poison. An old man sitting in an empty bar challenges you to a drinking contest. But there's an awful lot of skulls on that label. And is that a demon finger inside the bottle too? Give him some brimstone and leave. Drink up. Or save the poison for later. I don't understand... Give 50 brimstone coin. Everyone takes 3 damage. Gain toxic presence trait at the start of a battle. All enemies take 2 poison. I don't know what that means. Okay, so there's the boss at the end. The rest of this is going to be much of the same, it looks like. Um... I'm probably not going to be able to get Shinobi back until there. Or there, if I can make it there. My best bet would be to do, you know, this direction. Or possibly, you know, through the empty. But in any case, I'm going to go ahead and stop the demo here. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I very much am. The one thing I will say, though, is the only thing that I am feeling like is unique is the environment, the music the characters, the enemies. The gameplay, I don't see any difference from other deck builders. Uh, the traversal through the tower is no different than any other deck builder roguelike. Um, I, so I'm not seeing anything unique. That being said, I haven't died. So, I well, my entire group hasn't died. So I don't know what will happen when I get returned back to the beginning. Um, what things like that that might be adding to the overall game, but at the moment it is enjoyable. I do like the music, so I'm going to continue to I'm going to uh, continue to keep an eye on it. But I don't know that it is quite. Uh, I'm I'm on this edge of wish listing it or not, because there just doesn't seem to be enough in the demo. The one great thing about this 
is first of all, it's going to be out in, within a year because it was uh, shown at the Xbox Showcase and that was games within the next 12 months. Secondly, I'm almost positive that this game is going to be available on Game Pass Day 1. So we will have an opportunity, if you have a Game Pass subscription, which I highly recommend that you do, that we'll all be able to play it quote-unquote for free on Day 1 and really see is there anything unique about this game from other similar deck builder roguelikes that I've played in the past. But overall, it's been fun. I've definitely enjoyed it. As we've gotten through harder fights, it's absolutely shown that you know you do need to use some strategy and think about who you're going to attack when, um, how you're going to protect your other players, and so on. So with that, I hope that you've enjoyed this game content. And if you have, please make sure to hit the red subscribe button or hit the thumbs up like button or both. Uh, so that we can continue to make more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.